By now, millions have seen this picture from as far away as London. A man pulling a stranger from an SUV precariously perched, supported barely by a chain link fence. I seen that guy hanging there and he was trying to beat the window out or the door open or something. And I was like, oh man, because only like five links were hanging there. Jason Warnock just happened to be driving by. And while many of us would simply call 911. I was just like, oh, I got to go do something. And no one was doing anything. So I ran up riding about 200 yards uphill, which about killed me. I thought I'm out of shape compared to what I used to be. In shape enough, though, to follow the tire tracks to the cliff's edge where Matthew Sitko was waiting. I just, I got up there and I was like, are you all right, man? And he just shook his head, yeah, and um, I grabbed my, like, snap-on multi-tool out and it had some jagged edges, you know, on each end of it, and I hit the window three times, but it didn't break. And uh, I, every time I hit it, the, the thing rocked, you know, like it was gonna fall off. Eventually, a break, and finally, these two strangers spoke their first words. He rolled the window down, and he's like, can I grab my iPod? I was like, uh, yeah, hurry up, grab it, give me your hand. If this thing goes, I want to have a hold of you, so, you know, I can at least snag you out of there. Then, the moment, captured forever by a Lewiston newspaper photographer. Matthew was safe, police were on the scene, and Jason was gone. I left before, uh before they can figure out who I was. A reluctant hero by deed and word. A 29-year-old construction worker who'd rather we all just left him alone. I don't have Facebook and I don't like, you know, spending all my time on the internet and stuff. I'd rather be in the mountains, you know, or riding a motorcycle or whatever, hanging out with my woman, fishing, you know, something cool. Sorry, Jason, but we can't help but celebrate this something cool and the life you probably saved. I'm Melissa Lutcakes on Y4 News. It's playtime at the Animal House Pet Clinic's doggy daycare. All these dogs are healthy. But the canine flu centered in Chicago is getting closer. Especially with Door County just being, you know, a, a little hop, skip, and a jump away um, with a lot of commuters down to the Chicago area. I mean, it's, it's getting close to home, and that's kind of, you know, the scary aspect. 1,300 dogs across Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, including one in Wisconsin, are sick right now. According to veterinarians, the dog flu is easily transmittable. If a dog were to sneeze on something or cough, and then another dog was to sniff that area, or no snow's contact when they're playing together, so it's, it's contagious the same way our flu is. Even though there is no vaccine for this current strain of canine flu, Dr. Lewis advises her clients to get their dogs immunized, especially if they're around other dogs. She says symptoms include coughing, sneezing, and a fever. Her advice, watch for those symptoms and keep your dog close to home. Probably be a good time not to be traveling with your dog to the Chicago area. Um, just kind of better to stay closer to home. I think that's where you would be picking it up is when you're visiting relatives.